So the teams are set. The challenge guys really blessed Jordan this challenge because they gave him Wes and Jenny. I mean, you couldn't have two stronger, smarter people on your team, especially for a challenge like this. I'm paired up with Bailey and Jen. Bailey has proven that she is a strong competitor, but I'm really concerned how Jen is gonna do today. I don't think she's ever really gotten her hands dirty, so I'm gonna do whatever I can for these girls to try to secure a win today. I'm with Bessie and Melissa. Bessie's tall, she's strong, and Melissa's awesome. She's here to win, and she never gives up. I honestly feel like we've got it on lockdown. Let's go! You guys ready? Everyone's running off, it's like a stampede of legs and arms. My nerves are piling up. I can't help it now that we need the Red Skulls to qualify for the final. This is a potential ticket in for me. are extremely heavy. I know I'm a strong competitor, but they're digging into my shoulder. This is not gonna be an easy thing. I came into this game with my fiance, Bailey. I need to win this challenge so I can secure Bailey's safety. Let's go. Very, very interesting to see how fast he does in this game. This is a D1 football player. Well, let's see how he can run. I'm gonna stay right with Fessy and I'm gonna see what his pace is like. be in tribunal or it's like 130 percent i'm going in i've always wanted to start my own business and start a swimsuit line and so that's what i would do if i won the prize money so i just like need to win in this game when you see weakness you have to jump on it like a lion and so i see jen struggling and i'm like that is exactly who the f i want to go up against an elimination just keep pushing it Josh is holding two boxes, and Jen's hand literally is just touching it. I mean, Jen, Jen is wearing a full face today, honey. She is looking her best. She is trying her least. So the objective of the game today is to move 15 ammo crates from one side to the other. There's not much that I can really expect from Jen, and at this point, I need to try to create a strategy to help this girl out, but the only thing I ask of her is to keep pushing, to keep running forward. Kayla is looking beautiful. She's so pretty. I like the way she runs. She runs like this. And every time she runs past me, she does this. Maybe she don't. I'm just thinking it in my head. These things keep multiplying. Corey, Swaggy and I are working extremely well together. We're telling each other what's working and what's not. We decide to change our strategy midway through and do a relay strategy. Right behind you, babe. Let's work. Yeah. My legs are very big and they're made for this kind of thing and even I'm struggling. So big T bless her. I don't know how she's doing this. Work, babe, work, you got it. 
I'm really trying my hardest just to keep going, keep moving and not stop because I have such a huge point to prove. Sometimes it's heart that gets you the win. I'm learning how I can't get it up there. Bear thinks it's best if we all carry our own ammunition case. Well, guess what, Bear? I can't carry this damn ammunition case. So you take this one, I'm gonna get the next one. Ashley, oh, she's so bad. Like, she's so, so bad. She's like, she just gives up. Ashley, come on! Come on! Thanks, Bear! This is my challenge. Like, this is the kind of stuff that I've trained for. When it gets really hard, people stop, people walk, people need to get the breath back. I can feel all those things and then keep going. Congratulations, you guys are in the second round. Well, I wish I could say it was a surprise, but we end up first. Me, Jenny West, first team done by a landslide. Keep going, guys. We got two more spots left. Good job, Fessy. So now two teams are in. There's one spot left. I'm super excited. Not only are we getting to go in a helicopter and drop bombs, but now everybody knows I came to compete. One spot left, guys. One spot left. Closer. I'm very proud of how we did, and I don't think I could have done much more. I want to go in the helicopter. All right, Wes, Jordan, Jenny, you guys are up. Let's go. boxes. That will be Jenny and Wes. They can't see the target, so they have to trust me to say go. I thought they were up higher. I think they got the strategy a little confused because I think the first box that they drop is on a farm about seven miles away from the actual landing pad. Jordan 
to blame for those two misses. You better blame himself. And Jordan will have a reason why those two missed. If Jordan wins this, then he could potentially throw me into elimination against a weaker player, and I could come back and get my red skull. I need Jordan to pull through and win this because he's carrying the burden of both of us. Honestly, it's all up in the air right now. in total, so let's just get the rest of them right. I want to win, I want to go to the final, so I'm just going to focus on what's going on around me. Jordan, Jenny and Wes are absolutely doing terrible. What is going on up there? Surely these have got to be practice runs. They're coming! I normally would like to work with people like that, but I just hate Jordan. There's no friendship or working relationship, really. My team practically hit no targets because Jordan sucks ass at this game. Even though I see my win today going by the wayside, there's nothing better than watching Jordan lose. All right, Kyle, Fessy, Melissa, you guys are up, let's go. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in some sort of action movie. I feel like Lara Croft or something. I can't even describe this feeling. It's amazing. Look how fast we're moving! We all agree to exactly when to drop the ammo. When Fessy drops his arm, me and Kyle are going to drop the ammo. We managed to 
hit the bullseye seven times, which we were very proud of ourselves. And I think that's quite a high number, so I think we could be in with a shot of winning. All right, Swaggy, D, Corey, you guys are up. Let's go. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, you two, but listen, listen, you guys better keep a distance. So the next thing you fall on a helicopter is D, like a kamikaze <laughs> with a knife right on your back. You're a home wrecker. I just you existed. Are. That's it. We've got a good 20 minutes as well before she comes back, so. <laughs> Gonna make the most of it. Maybe even five. Whoever wins will have all the power, and I want to make sure I get in that tribunal so I can control the game. I'll make sure I'll do everything in my power to send Jen home, because I don't like it. is pink dust on this target and my dreams and for the rest of my life. Yeah. Let's get all nine. Go no Corey, Say Z. Yeah, yeah. Say Z. We got it, we got it, we got it. We got this. Or bets with the right horse. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, what the hell? Oh, bro. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back to Purgatory. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so I told the losers to go back to the bunker, nominate one female to send into Purgatory. You chose Jen, so come on down, Jen. Tribunal. You interrogated three women. You had Big T, Tori, and Jenny. Well, before I get your votes, listen up. I told you, the tribunal has all the power. And I meant it. Because the tribunal can either vote one of the people they interrogated to come down here and compete against Jen, or they can volunteer themselves and earn that red skull to qualify for my final. Dee's got a massive opportunity to go up against Jen, who she's trash talked this whole time. Dee, what you got? Bring it on. Go it, Dee. All right, so Dee, are you going to vote for one of them? Or are you going to come down here and earn that red skull yourself? She has the opportunity to come in and go head to head against me, her like arch nemesis. What? So D, what's it gonna be? The tribunal can either vote for one of the people they interrogated or they can volunteer themselves. Do it! 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 Do it!
has the option to put herself in, not only against who is perceived as the weakest girl in the house, but Jen, who has been the object of affection of the man that you love. And what better way to get revenge on this girl than sending her home? What's it gonna be? D should take this opportunity 1,000%. Like, you won last season. Get up, girl. Go show us why you're so big and bad. You know what, TJ? To volunteer yourself, to go in against a girl that you've been having a feud with and then possibly lose would be a very bad, embarrassing look, granted. But Jen is a layup here, and you have to go in and get your red skull. I'm a woman of my word, and my vote is for the person that I shook hands with. No more. And that's Jenny. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. no, no. I decided to not put myself down for elimination just because I'm not mentally prepared for it. We all know with eliminations, anything can go wrong at any time. And if I was to go home against Jen, I would die of embarrassment. That's interesting. So, D votes for Jenny. D didn't step up today. And she kind of looks weak because she talked all that <laughs> Now she has an option of going in. She said no? What? All right, so Swaggy C. My vote's for Jenny. Yeah, Dad. Hey, come on, baby. See you in a little bit. And Corey. My vote's for Jenny. She wants it tonight. Let's go, Jenny. I thought the tribunal were going to pick me. In the future, I need to be getting on to every single tribunal because that still gives me a chance in getting that red skull. Literally mind blown right now. The fact that D didn't want to go into an elimination, that's one dumb decision. And then she puts Jenny in, which is another dumb decision because Jenny doesn't come with a Jordan. And now you have two people who are gonna be rubbed the wrong way because you wanted to make Jenny your number one and not me. I'd rather not lose to her yeah. than yeah, I could lose yeah. to anyone else, but if I lose to her, mm -mm. yeah. Tonight you are playing flip the switch. Behind me, there's a hallway of barrels on poles. There are 10 of them for each of you. To begin, you're gonna start at this first barrel. When I say go, you're gonna flip the barrel up and over so it lands on your opponent's side. You're gonna do this all the way down the line until you get to the end. First person to get all those barrels flipped, flip the switch at the end, will win tonight's elimination round and earn that red skull, which will qualify them for my final. Got it? Yeah. Good luck. Good luck, ladies. Woo! So right now, I am holding my rookie helmet that says my name. And hopefully tonight, I will get myself a red skull right here after I prove myself. It's really important to win the first girls elimination because I want that red skull. It means that I am potentially going to be running in the final. I can then start helping get my friends in there as well and getting them their red skulls. D, I mean, I can't believe she didn't put herself in. I would never have felt bad about that at all if she had. Like, that's a ridiculous opportunity. But obviously, she would, you know, she just wants to stick to work, and I do appreciate that so much. Um, hopefully, I'll make her proud. Battle of the gins! Battle of the gins! Battle of the gins! I love Jenny, she's Dee's number one girl, so everything rationally is telling me that I should be supporting Jenny. But I'm not. Fancy Jen, so I wanted to come back. All right, ladies, you ready? goes with one hand and just back to back, just flipping it. And I'm like, oh my god, she's a freaking machine. She needs a one hand. Jen looks like a little kid at a birthday party trying to keep the balloon from touching the ground. Good job. Good job. Good job. You killed it, literally. Five seconds. Oh my God! 
I've got a red skull. I literally, I can't believe it. I can and I can't. I just didn't think it would happen to me. I didn't think it would happen this soon. I feel like I'm watching somebody else get their red skull. She did it with one hand. She did one with one hand. Good job, Good job Jenny! Good job, Jenny. Dee thinks that she's this great game player because she learned from Wes, but she gave the strongest girl in the house the easiest ride to the final. And now, she's gonna have to compete against her in a final. Good luck, honey. Dream on. <laughs> Jen, well, unfortunately for you, you ran into Jenny, <laughs> who could single-handedly <laughs> smoke myself and anyone else up there at this game. Back. So if you're gonna get beat by somebody, congratulations on getting beat by Jenny. <laughs> So, this ends your time here on The Challenge. Take care of yourself, Jen. Have a good one. Good job, Jen. Good job, Jen. Good job, Jen. We miss you already. Bye. Jenny, what a performance. That is solid. That is how it is done. Congratulations, you win tonight's elimination round. With that, you earned a red skull, which qualifies you to run my final. Remember, just because you have a red skull doesn't mean that you're safe from coming back into purgatory. The next time you have this, <laughs> we'll have a red skull on it for Thank you. you. Yeah. Good Thank job. you. Thank you. Once I started doing elimination, I knew I'd get it. It was easy. Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> I'm sorry. It shouldn't be easy, should it? It was. I wrote down in my diary last night that I will get the first red skull for the girls, and I, I've done it. And it literally feels like this is probably better than like your birthday and Christmas combined. D, do you regret not coming down here? Yes. Hell yeah. A, a little bit now. <laughs> Damn. I hope you get that red skull. Now I know, D, you cannot be trusted in this game. You better watch it, because you're the only one on our list right now. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next challenge. There's only two players that have a red skull, Jenny and Jay. I would be lying to y'all if I said I knew what the right strategy is. But the reality is, none of us know where this game is going. Who's Jennifer? Which one's that? Who is Jay? Who is Asa? Who's Casey? Who's Bailey? <laughs> Bailey, um... Thingy's girlfriend. Jazzy Jeff. Jazzy? Jeffrey. Jevo. <laughs> Swaggy. First impression of Fessy is, because of his height, his weight, and his look of, I want to kill everyone, I actually like him. Fessy is gigantic. He's huge. That is an athletic dude. Scary. Now, guys got some big guns. Fessy is a large man. Obviously, like, he's an intimidating guy because he's tall and strong. And he's very quiet. But I sat catty quarter to him on the airplane ride over here, and he chose to watch Toy Story. He's like a piece of wallpaper in the house. It doesn't say anything, but he's a very large piece of wallpaper that people don't want to piss off. That's my first impression of Fessy. He didn't say anything. Now I like him. He uses a lot of pepper, though. Like, all of the pepper. My first impression of Jay is that he looks a little bit like Frodo, and I want to steal his ring. He's really cute, he's really funny, and, you know, there might be a bit something going on there, hello. We were on the plane together, and we, we slept together and laughed. We didn't sleep together like bang, but we... We shared a pillow. He seems like he's, you know, a friendly guy, but I think in the end he's gonna end up being a badass. Jay comes from Survivor, so Jay has been through a lot. Jay, oh my God. This guy is gonna be my new best friend that's also a Asaf is clueless. He probably doesn't even know the name of the show. He's really good looking, but he seems a little dumb. Man, guys like him make me look really smart and ugly. Ooh, Asa. <laughs> when I saw him, I was like, so who's the new PA? He's gorgeous. He just walks in and he's glowing and he has an even tan, nice teeth. Beautiful hat, beautiful skin, beautiful body. If you were to paint a picture of my perfect guy, it would be him. He has better hair than all the girls here and uh, I'm jealous of it. He thinks he's a ladies man. <laughs> Have you seen me? Swaggy by name, swaggy by nature. Looks like a cool dude. We should be friends. 
I don't think it's gonna last long. Oh, Spucky does, right? He's going up to me and go, how's it going, man? High fives me, then walks off. I can't get this boy to talk. He's done me about five times today. Yeah, what's going on, man? High five. I really like Swaggy. You know, he's got a beautiful relationship with Bailey that I really respect. And, like, he's quite quiet so far, so I'm looking forward for him to come out of his shell. And I do know that people who are silent are always deadly. Bailey, she's so adorable. I can tell she's really smart. I hope she becomes my friend. She's so nice. She's got common sense and a sweetheart. Bailey's feisty. I think that she hasn't shown that side. She is a sweetheart, but the minute you step on her toes, she's gonna bite and she has a big bark. I mean, she's kind of scary. She's here to compete. Bailey comes from Big Brother, so they know how to play a game. I actually watched Bailey's season of Big Brother and I didn't like her, but I actually really like her. She's probably the coolest chick besides Casey. Casey, that my she is so dope. Everybody in this house wants to go out with Casey. I'm sorry, Jordan. Everybody in this house wants to date Casey. Casey's so pretty. I think Casey's kind of hot, actually. Casey is like the hottest girl ever. She is so hot. She's just so hot. Casey is exactly the sort of girl I fancy. I can see exactly why Casey won her season of Big Brother. I feel like as soon as she walked in, everyone was like, hey, I like you. She's like family. I met her family and I know all of them and she's just a genuine girl. I think Jen might be a little nice and a little naive for some of these witches in there. The challenge is it gonna be hard for a girl like her. I do not like Jennifer at all. She's walking around carrying around a fake dog. She's got the dog, this stuffed animal dog named Bronson. That is a, uh, that's not a red flag that she's weird. Jennifer kind of reminds me of my older sister, and my sister would not be good at this. This just isn't the show for you. I think Jen's on the wrong show. I think she tried to apply for Love Island. First impression of Jen is that she's beautiful. Who is the worst political player of all time? Is it A, Josh? Is it B, Kyle? Or is it C, both of them are equally dumb as Is that really a question? No. No. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wes and we're here with Challenge Trivia. I don't know if any of you know, but I've got big breaking official news. I am next up on the docket after TJ to take over as hosting duties. And here we are, warming me up. And so with that being said, we're gonna play a little trivia with two of the smartest cast members that have ever been on the show. And because it's political season, all of the questions are gonna be politically motivated in some capacity. Okay, now first question, how long is a US Senator's term. Term means how long they're in office. Thank you. And office means how long they're employed. Oh Thanks. my god. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Show. Well, we've got one answer over here for four years. Six years and da da da, Corey with the first one. Are we making tally marks? Am I up one? I'm no. just gonna make a little tally mark. That's a good order. idea. So I'm we, just gonna keep we'll my point. Okay. okay. So let worry. Jenna know. All right. In 2003, as part of a Republican protest against France's opposition to the war on Iraq, one, two food items were renamed in the U.S. House of Representatives cafeteria. Is there multiple <laughs> choice? <laughs> Basically, here's a hint. We're mad at France. So something. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, so yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Show them. French toast and French fries. French bagel, bagel and, and a Pop Tart. <laughs> Those aren't even French. Just a, a bagel is French. It's no, a it's baguette not. or a bagel. <laughs> No, it's just baguette. No, He's right. this is a pop tart. A is she really tart. right? Okay, this one. This is challenge related okay, political this is, trivia. So okay, this one will be a little bit more in y'all's wheelhouse. Yes, right, yes, yes. Who is in the Lavender Ladies Alliance? And you have to spell all the names correctly. Um. <laughs> okay, show it off. And sometimes for it. I didn't do it sometimes. How the heck do you spell Sylvia? What does that say? It looks like saliva, like. Sylvia. 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 Okay, Sylvia. I feel like because of the horrible spelling of Sylvia's name, I, we have to give her the point. How many Supreme Court justices are there? Supreme Court justices. On both sides. Yeah. <laughs> is this all together or is yes. this just. These are like. This is one party, two judges. parties, three no, parties. No, no, no. This is the Supreme Court. They're the Six. judges. All right, you ready? Yeah. Show off the answers. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> 12. Nine. No. Oh, no, I was close. No. <laughs> 
legislative judicial, judicial executive. executive. <laughs> Those are the three branches. Okay. Duh, what do you mean? <laughs> Who was the last Democrat to win Texas in a presidential election? This is a tough one, I will admit. I would not have right, gotten this. All right, if it's this. tough, then I, uh, I'm just go with this. Honestly, this is the last one that I can remember that was a, even a, a freaking president. <laughs> flip him, flip him. <laughs> oh, 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 Jimmy Carter, first person to turn it around with the correct answer wins, because both of you are not getting this point. Who makes up the Young Bucks Alliance? Woo! T.Y.B., oh. baby! Okay. In American presidential history, how many presidents have been assassinated? Like mm. killed? Yes. 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 <laughs> Completely dead. No dead. Att not attempts. A murder. A murder. Yes. A murder. <laughs> just... Okay. Flip them. JFK, that is definitely one of them. Kennedy. Uh, that is not how you spell it, but yes. You guys are missing like one this of the biggest great. ones. There are four of them actually. Wait, who is that guy married to the princess? That's princess. in England. No! The princess That's Diana. Diana Ross. That's England though. That's not US. <laughs> <laughs> or um, Princess, Princess Ross. She had the purple little teddy bear. My U.S. presidential history. I didn't even know that was her <laughs> last name until just Diana now. Diana Ross. <laughs> yeah, she Princess Diana Ross. <laughs> Diana Ross. Yeah. So were you completely off? No, you no. guys are both right. So Diana's yeah. Princess Diana's last name is Ross. Yes. Yes. Yep. And she's an American U.S. She's uh, an R&B singer. Lady. Yeah. 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 Ah, two different people. All right. She's great. She does a lot. Define. Mm. Can I draw a picture? <laughs> you may. In fact, I'm adding that as a requirement. You need to write and draw. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready to showcase your pictures and your definitions? Okay. One at a time. When you use your clam to get ahead in the game to stay safe. Now show your picture. Oh, yours is way This is the girl with the clam. These are all the little boys that want to work with her. No, it's going to We're going okay. to erase my just, picture. Uh, okay, what it was, just so you guys know, it was a stick figure of a guy getting his <laughs> sucked. Corey! <laughs> I think we have to go with the clam answer. I'm going to give that point to yeah. you. Yeah, it. thanks. But you I would like it. to say both of those are very, like, sexist. Both of those. Because a guy or a girl can politic. Agreed. Since 1900, which party has had more presidents elected? Which this what? Is party. Is okay, like. so is it the Republicans or the Democrats? <laughs> Show your answers. It is the Republicans. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. How many seasons did CT compete in before winning his first final? And whom? is the sole reason he won that final. Okay, let's show him. Four, wrong, 10, close. Bearded lady, referring to me. Yes. Not an apt way of describing me. <laughs> uh, he didn't get in a fight, no, the answer is Wes with nine. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, We have an champ. audience participation we'd like to come in Come here. on, champ. <laughs> here. For the record, if it wasn't for this lady right here. Yeah. The bearded <laughs> lady. My first one. That's right. Aww. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm getting a call from New York right now. They're looking at the instant replays. We have, ladies and gentlemen, I believe a tie game with Ooh. one question left. So this okay. is for all the marbles in 1893. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Congrats, Corey, because... Uh, looks like we tied. In 1893, the Supreme Court decided that which food would be classified as a vegetable? And it's multiple choice. Ah. Pumpkins, cucumbers, which is like the little dick emoji. Yeah. Olives, which put, what you put in your martinis, or tomatoes. All right, flip them. That is correct. We tied. We tied. Ah, ah, look at that. Tomato. Tomato, tomato. Tomato. Tomatoes and tomatoes look at are that. the official vegetable. So I think I won by half a point. Okay, that no, is you crazy. Did. We are actually getting a call in from New York right now about who has won the political challenge. Wait, I can I can hear them. I can hear them deciding in the background. And the answer is. Me. <laughs> this guy. Oh, 
looking at? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Walking to this purgatory, you see two big shelters. You see pallets, ropes, chains, all kinds of stuff on the ground. And at this point, I have no idea what this could be. Looks like a puzzle. Welcome back to Purgatory. Losers, I had you guys go back to the bunker and nominate one guy to send into Purgatory and get that red skull. So you guys did that, but you chose somebody that already has a red skull. So Jay, come on down. You're right, boy. Let's go, Jay. Let's go, Jay. If it's a puzzle, give me any of them. If it's a strategy game, give me any of them. If it's a head-to-head -head hall brawl, Let's just not hope for Rogan or CT. That's that's the best bet. Now, Tribunal, CT, Swaggy, and Bailey. You guys had to select three guys for interrogation. And that was Bear, Nelson, and Rogan. Are you gonna choose one of those guys to go against Jay or CT, Swaggy? Are you gonna come down here and earn that red skull yourself? What's it gonna be, guys? I'm in. Oh no! CT has just chosen himself Woo! to finish CT's back. Come on! Right, Team CT in an elimination is pretty spectacular. I can speak from experience. I didn't really have a great vantage point because. I was uh, gazing up into the stars the entire time. So this is gonna be a long day at the office for Jay, for sure. <sighs> Good luck, brother. All right. This is a dope ass matchup. Nice. Force my hand. I don't think I'll get another chance to go into elimination. And if I do, it's gonna be top tier. This is my shot. I gotta take it. I'm just looking at Jay like, you don't want this problem. Nobody in their right mind would want to go against CT. Get the paramedics ready. This is going to be ugly. All right, so tonight, you guys are playing Take Shelter. All right. As you can see, there is a bunker for each of you. To begin, you're going to use all that material behind you to barricade one of these bunkers. Okay. You're then gonna trade and have to break in to your opponent's bunker and turn on a light. You have to open the door all the way before you can go into the bunker. The first person to light up their bunker will win tonight's elimination round, stay in the game and earn that red skull or get a second red skull. Regardless, there's only gonna be one guy qualified to run my final tonight. Interesting. All right, good luck, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good, luck, man. good luck, man. You got it, CT. All day, baby. Jay is so lucky I'm not down there taking him out right now. CT, you greedy bastard. But if you're going to take Jay out, so be it. So CT is definitely one of the biggest legends in the challenge. Uh, I've grown up watching him, and I'm super excited right now to actually get to compete against, I mean, basically an idol. This is a lifelong dream, man. Like, you get the crown for this, you get the crown for life right now. This is sick. Today's strategy in Take Shelter is to basically uh, take all those rocks from the outside of the shelter and put them right in front of the door, because I know we can't lift those things. My main line of defense is going to be a knot, and we all know I can tie a knot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pops. What's up, boys? Like What's up, Jay? Oh. What's up, CT? All right, boys, you ready? Go! Oh yeah, it's over. CT 
he obviously, the smartest guy ever, goes for the ropes first. And he is just winding and knotting these ropes up so much. I mean, it's gonna be really annoying to untie. And Jay's kind of looking like he doesn't have a strategy at all. Break that chain so quickly. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm happy point. What are you doing, Jay? Like, out of all this debris, you got the tiniest chain to wrap around a door where you know CT, the monster, can rip that off? Let's go, CT. This is strategy. You have to think of a way to keep him out. Let's get as much stuff as I can and put it in front of this door so that it tires him out so when he gets to the chain, he's just gonna be exhausted. Boys, come on. Go, CT. Lock it in. It's like five minutes left. We just fucked up for the There you go. There you go. Let's go, CT. Go through, go through. Shelter, he's putting some work. I don't think it's necessarily gonna be easy, but um, I'm feeling pretty good about my knots. I have a lot of interconnecting pieces. Hopefully, it buys me enough time to get into Jay's shelter and blow the horn. How was you? Oh, I heard you lifting some heavy. <coughs> yep. I look over at the mess that CT has created, and oh my god, there are heavy ropes going through heavy ropes. It's just all entangled right in front of the door, and then on top of that. He managed to grab these huge boulders and put it in front of the door. I need the strength right now. Let's do this. Good luck, guys. All right, guys, you ready? Go! Everything that Jay has built in 20 minutes CT has gotten through it in seconds, and he's just tossing, breaking, flipping, and it's insane to watch right now. Be careful, Jay. How do you want it, guys? Come on! After all of the work that CT has put in, I am looking at Jay like, you do not stand a chance, my friend. There is no way that you're getting through that quicker than CT is going to get through yours. I kind of feel bad at this point. Woo! 
So he's just trying to break the cinder blocks so he doesn't have to pull the ropes all the way through it. And he's playing a very smart game. Earn that skull, buddy. Pick it up. You want to hope she passes out, but I don't see that happening. Over time, though, these these blocks and these stones, it's not the way you down. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting tired. Man, I'm getting tired. Just keep moving, bro. Just keep Look, moving. He's been working on that one nut the entire time. You're almost there, TP! Go! Oh! 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 I just beat a legend. I just beat CT. What the f Yes! <laughs> Sick, dude. No way could I have ever imagined this. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. I am literally shocked. What an upset. It just goes to show, though, you can never underestimate anyone. Oh, my That's God. how you stay focused, kid. This job, Brooke. Thank you, man. You know, this was one of my dreams. Yeah. Don't make it weird, though. I know, no, it is, it is, it is weird for me. <coughs> it is weird. I don't care. Jay, congratulations, my friend. That was absolutely incredible. Good job, yeah. boy. Way to go, kid. I'm talking 100 to 1 odds. Jay, the underdog, gets the W. We kept the layup in the house. He took out the strongest person in the house. This is a win-win for me. Taking out CT in a game like this is near to impossible, and you got it done, man. Congratulations. Woo! Thank you. Let's go, Jay. Thank you, bro. Very, very impressive. CT, you had a lot of momentum. Unfortunately, you lost tonight's elimination round, but your body of work is so solid. I'm positive we're going to see you in the future, my friend. If anybody finds my back in there, you send it to Miami. I should have been more careful with my ropes and my knots. I should have tightened up loose ends. No pun intended. I have no one to blame but myself for this loss. But I think if I want to continue to compete at a high level in this game, I need to give myself a tune-up. I promise you when I come back, I'll be stronger than that one. CT, it's very sad to watch you go, but you leave Jay here, and now I get a chance to take him out. For me, and for you. Legend. If there was one way to describe what I'm feeling right now, it is utter bewilderment. CT is a legend in this game. For him to go home the way that he just did, it's really gonna change a lot of things. Jay, I really am very, very impressed with you, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Solid performance. Now you are gonna get a second Red Skull. Hell yeah. So you are the only 
guy qualified to run my final so far, man. So congratulations. What? Oh, that was Dave versus Goliath right now. I'm so thankful that, you know, I got the opportunity to go against a, a massive legend. Uh, I look up to that dude. When I win the challenge and I get a million dollars, my family's gonna eat real good. <laughs> underdog. You guys better pick it up. I'll see you soon. Thank you, bro. Once you get a red skull, and only if you have a red skull, do you qualify to run the final. The challenge this season isn't for the scared players. This is for all the people that have always gone into elimination and aren't afraid to fight to win.